All right, so this is the regular meeting of the Woodbridge Conservation Commission, February 21st, 2019. And we'll open up to public comments. No public comments, we'll move right along. Hear the roar. That's right. <laughs> the silence is deafening. Uh, review and approve minutes of our December 12th special meeting. Uh, I just reviewed them myself. And other than uh, a word being missing, and I will mention it. Any other comments about? I wasn't there, was it? December. Were you not here? I don't recall. I think so, yeah. It must be in the minutes. You were not here. Right. So says the minutes. <laughs> Um, where was this? It was in the. It was in the. That you sent me for the last. Hmm. Okay. So we approve them. I, I I make a motion to approve. Right. I second. You second. My only correction is in the section on property rating. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just realized Betsy is not here. Betsy is not here. Oh yes, could I'm you? I'm supposed to be taking notes. Please. Yes. Thank you. Uh, the sentence at the end of that says he proposed a working meeting in the near to actively work. I think she left out the word future. <clears throat> a working meeting in the near future to actively work on these. So I'm just going to suggest we add the word future to that. And I can send that to uh, Betsy. Okay. So sh she's got the original to make an edit. Okay. Any other discussion on our December minutes? All good. All in favor? Did you? Obviously, I have to abstain. And Leland will abstain. All right, we, we, we pass. <clears throat> All right, next on the agenda is the first meaty item of this evening. Uh, review the updated open space plan. We're going to consider areas to be added, updated, and briefly discuss progress made on the objectives in the open space plan. We don't have everybody here this evening. But I still figure the four of us can plow ahead. Can you explain this version is, where does this come from? So We wrote it. We right. have. Just, <laughs> yeah. So that's the last one. And how? when was that written? Last year. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, the last revision, I believe, was officially dated 2017. Oh, officially. it felt like it was 2018. I know. But we changed I, the front, now it's 2019. That's, just, that's how we updated. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel it's worthwhile going through the open space plan annually just to make sure we are still heading towards the objectives that we set out for ourselves, making sure we're in alignment with all of the goals in the open space plan. Um, very much like I think it's also worthwhile just reviewing the purpose of the Conservation Commission annually. I went through um, some of those zoning regulations and um, in looking for those, I just wanted to know where some of them were, and it it went back to I don't know like 2004 to another conservation commission report, mm -hmm. and it's essentially the same. I you know I mean it's got essentially it's I guess what we took the original you know the template that we took from originally. So right, so I agree with you. I thought that whole section we so you know. And I was wondering whether how we could sort of divide up some of the tasks, yeah. maybe, and yeah. give everybody a different section. That's right? what I was going to ask one. tonight. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we're all thinking along the same Because some of some of these could, you know, take up a considerable amount of time. Yeah. Uh, so the 2019 draft that we're looking at this evening is just the 2017, but with some suggested areas. So, in the section on funding. Um, I thought we should talk about um, how we encourage ourselves and the town to reach out to residents and farms for farmland specific projects. Um, also, where are you? Where are you in? I'm in the funding section. You have lots of highlighting. That must be in your highlight. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what page am I? Page 15. Okay. You're almost there. Very good. Progress. <laughs> um, so since it, we had some revision to our purpose in 2018 by taking on farmland specific duties, I thought it would be worthwhile making a specific note in here about funding around farmland. 
So I'm I will take that one on. You want to take on looking at yeah. funding avenues for well because for I actually I've identified uh, 19 funding avenues for that specifically Perfect. area. So Love it. I can cut and paste all that and put it in. So the funding section <laughs> is broken out into federal, state, and other other mm -hmm. being the private um, avenues that we can approach. So when this says farmland restoration on public land, one community gardens, two wetland protections on Where public and private land, yeah. etc. Yeah. Three. So there are really three separate, um, yep. you know, sources that need to be funded, right? So Leland, are you going to take all three, or do you? So what I have been working on and have done is the farmland piece. Okay. Uh, what I don't, uh, there is some overlap with the community gardens, but not a lot of, there's the no overlap with the wetlands protection on mm -hmm. private and uh, public lands. Okay. Um, well, I, I could certainly. You, you want to do that, and then I can take like the next whole section of um, the the other part. So the next. So uh, first of all, do you feel comfortable adding some wetland? Yeah. Funding. Yeah, because you and I, we go to the Khaki Wick, and we're and we yeah. So I feel comfortable doing that. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. And staying in, in funding briefly, and we'll get to the next section mm -hmm. in a minute, Julie. The, uh, what, what I realized in 2018 is that we sort of missed an opportunity to go for the Trails Grant. It's one that comes up annually. It's Where in, are you at now? Uh, it's, it's somewhere in here. I know I have it listed in here. Uh, oh, Recreational Trails, Pro Trails Program? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and... Um, that one, I, I think, because of the trails in our town and the fact that we've lost our trail master, I think that we should probably keep our ears up and our eyes open, uh, specifically around trail programs. Um, the, the point well, of putting really, these in here was to actually look at them every year and figure out when their deadlines are. Lauren's such a good trail person. Maybe you could do that one piece. Absolutely. Okay. I want it. What am I doing? I'll do it. Whatever it is, I'll do it. It's hard for me to take minutes amputated. It's right. It is. I am honest. No problem. Well, let, let's, before we task, task you with that, um, let's look at some of the other items okay. that we, we have as potentially new things to include in the open space plan. <clears throat> so moving on to page 19. <clears throat> A new section would be zoning regulations affecting open space and ordinances affecting open space. Those are two different sections, but they could be, I suppose, combined into one. That's the one that you were mm -hmm. referring to, Julie? Yep, I could do those. So you've been... I, I mean, I've, I just looked to see if I could if I could do it. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I don't know really how to do it. So um, I, you know, and I started to look, and I think I can yeah. put together a list. Excellent. Because I think... And I can... So, pass them by you guys as I'm doing it just to make sure I'm on the right track. Yeah. yeah. And I think those probably would require some visits to town hall, talking mm -hmm. to the various zoning and, right. and people that are familiar with ordinances. Yeah. So if you're, you want to take so, on zoning and ordinance as sure. sort of a combined. Yep. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Love it. And then we'll just give the rest. So those are not here. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually how it goes, right? <laughs> if you don't show up, you just get the what's ever's left. <clears throat> the other two sections are a national, uh, natural, natural resource inventory. Uh, the state has documentation of what they believe is in the state of Connecticut, but obviously Woodbridge is not everything. We don't have some of the shoreline birds, for example. So I think it would be nice to include what we know as a natural natural resource inventory, plants and animals. Um, does anybody have any thoughts as to where to start with that? Besides My only suggestion would be that the uh, conservation and development plan, uh, back when we were working on it 15, whatever, 16 years ago, um, I collected all similar sized towns 
inventories for that. And there are certain towns that are really good at it, like Ridgefield, mm -hmm. uh, who have these wonderful inventories. That might be a way for somebody to start is with their conservation development plans and see what their inventory lists are. Uh, beyond that, I really don't know much about it. Okay. I'm willing to dive into this one because I've looked at it a bit in the past. I remember some things that we looked at, like like brochures or something that we had a while back. When we were looking, we were trying to put together that list and we were using the country club as an example and somebody brought in mm. some information. I, I might have it. It's vaguely ringing a bell. Yeah. And I feel like we were, all this that's high lit, I feel like we did that, but I guess we didn't. No, it's not. It's not in okay. our open space plan. We may have talked about it okay. from different angles. Um, so I'll I'll take on a first draft at the natural resource inventory. And you seem like our expert on the next one too. Methods of protection yeah. and acquisition. Um, well, I wouldn't say I'm the professional on it. Be, being the member on this commission that's been here the longest, I'm most familiar, I suppose, with them. And going to the conferences over the years, so I'm sort of keen, Helps, yeah. keen on, on what options there are in terms of purchasing development rights or conservation easements or purchase outright. Uh, yeah, I can work a bit on that, try to put something together. Well, who else would be sort of... Frank? I know Frank's got good connections with the Water Authority. Uh, not the Water Authority, the West River Watershed Coalition. And they've been yeah, having we to come up with it. different ways You're of right, protecting. You're right, because through that act, and I'm working with him on that too, but I just got started. Um, but I'll, I think you're right. He, he might be, maybe you and he together. Because I think he could give us a lot of information through the coalition. Yeah, he can work with some of the people yeah. that he knows through that coalition. Should we put it on Frank? <laughs> yeah. For starters? Jason and Frank. What's okay. making him do? The protection and acquisition, Frank, also. Yeah. <clears throat> and what was my thing? I didn't see my thing. You're the trail. Yeah. But where, in the document, <laughs> where am I? Well, we were going to, I think, you know what would be helpful? No. Please tell me. <laughs> I will tell you. How about this? In the list of funding sources, there's already an established collection. Like the USDA thing, the Farm right. and Ranch Lands Protection Program, all that yep. stuff? Uh-huh. What would be helpful is if you could look those up and find out what deadlines they have for 2019. Okay. And then what we can do is figure out, based upon their deadlines, if we have any projects in 2019 or even into 2020 that we and can And I can also, uh, as I come up with them, I'll, don't, I'll email you with okay. any, I'll, all of us, but I'll, so you can have any of the new Okay, thank stuff. you. Yeah, because okay. Leland's working on the agricultural yeah. and wetlands, okay. so new items to be added. So just so I'm clear, for example... I'm going to call or or look up in the internet. Yep. Um, the, this part. Is this what I'm doing? Yep. Okay. All right. So there's a couple of sections. That federal section where you just started. Okay. And just go through the headings. Yeah, there's like 10, which is fine. But yeah. that's what you mean, right? Yep. Okay. And then state. And then yep. there's some state ones also. Exactly. Okay. And, and under private ones. And under private have a quick look. Um, whenever I go and look at the private ones, like for example, Connecticut Farmland Trust or the Conservation Fund, sometimes they're just open-ended. There's no deadline for applying for okay. grants or yeah. funding opportunities. But definitely the, the state and federal usually have got a locked-in period where you have to apply. And we'll see what... No rolling admissions. I think that covers it for yellow highlighted areas. Um, in terms of existing content that 
I know that we need to tidy up um, the properties worthy of acquisition. That's still an unordered list and it was pulled directly from the 2003 open space plan. At, at this point we start turning towards talking about rating systems and, and rating the properties and right. that leads us back to prior right. discussions about right. okay. is our rating system ready to be rolled out or not. That's a lot of properties to do that rating system. I know. It is. It is. The, the rating system that as, as we have it now the objective measures, the one that you can almost do completely on the internet by looking at tax assessors mm -hmm. and various wetland maps and whatnot. That's not too hard to go through. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but when you get down to the object or the subjective items, um, whether it provides beautiful vistas or whether it, you know, there, there's certain things that you can't get just by looking at it on the internet. But with all these, with all these properties, is there a way to prioritize which ones, like take the top five and instead of 400 of them? I mean, I mean you know, figure out a way well, to Well, the one thing we ought to go back to and see what in the conservation and development plan, what, it, what are the top ones they have, right? Or, or at least top. Well, I think they list, I think, I am I'm not familiar with the latest one, but we, before we did list the top and we only had like five or six. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So if the current conservation development plan has a list that they've highlighted, we should be consistent with that. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. In okay. fact, that was one of the action items to do for us. Uh -huh. I feel like we've uh, talked about each one of these in different meetings. We've talked about Warren Road, the, the Trail Turnpike Women. Yeah, I mean, we yeah, we just haven't prioritized them. Right. You know, I think maybe one Warner way to go was. about it, um, and this is still something that I'm interested in doing, is to finish applying our current draft rating system to all of the properties and see how they land. And, well, and, and, and as I was going through it last time, I realized some of the rating criteria it's kind of weird because most of the town land in town is forested and criteria for a high ranking for a forested area you only have to have like two acres of forest and you're maxed out on your forest rating and everything in Woodbridge seems to be forested so I think we need to adjust the scales a little bit but maybe well, I'm wondering if we can I mean have a, like a little sub group they could get together and meet and then report back to us uh, on that because you've been trying for a long time to get us all to walk mm -hmm. these things and do this and I, it must be a little frustrating because you, you haven't got a lot of data back from I us. Know. Right? I'm I ready to like move ahead. I'm, well, I'm, I'm wondering if we can do, if we literally can get a little subcommittee together, look at that really tight and then come back and report to the whole group and say, look, we've re-looked re at this and here's what we think. Yep. I totally agree with that. It probably happens faster when you try to get fewer people together. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot easier to align schedules. We just need to be aware of how many of us meet in the single point before we constitute a meeting. Well, that's what I'm saying. Meeting. So, yeah, I not think, a quorum, right? Right. Well, I think it's as little as two. <laughs> it's, it's two members. I mean, once you get beyond two, I think you then start borderline. If you're at three, you might start to have a meeting. Um, is there I, I any reason why we can't, I mean, not to, you know that I'm the last one who wants to stay here for a very long time, however, can't we just, I feel like we have talked about these so much, you don't think we can just kind of go through them right now and just say, no, 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 oh, this one, yes. I mean, they're so familiar, even to me, who knows nothing. <laughs> I think the tough thing is, is These that if we don't here? use the matrix, yeah, we've talked about them so much, we? Yeah, but I think it, Jason right, spent fine. so much time putting the matrix. Well, you might be right. No, but I agree. Jason spent so much time putting I the matrix together. The if matrix we don't also. sort of have the same criteria for each one, but then I, I think like we also it's hard have to the justify. The matrix in our right. head. I I sort of have the matrix. If, you know, I mean. You're talking about doing it for each one of these? Mm -hmm. um, I'm talking about, what's the top of this table say? Current land holdings. No, not current land holdings. Okay, no, no, no. Oh, okay. no, there's no, no, no. team. There's no, on, on, no, but those are, those are we've outlined a little bit. We on, can on, look back at our lovely 
videos. Yeah, on, so on page 19 <laughs> is where, where they start at 20 Blue Trail. Properties worthy of acquisition. Yeah. And some of these properties, for example, 20 Blue Trail. Isn't um, here anymore. Well, it it is, but it's in an interesting state where there's been discussion about how that property might be developed and part of it offered Isn't to the town. Isn't that the one we walked down, that really steep one? Mm, no. That one? Nope. That was Enoch. Well, so for instance, the, the 902 Baldwin, we have significant I updates. Have no one. Remember that right. steep right. one we almost Yep. Mm -hmm. I actually did a update piece on that, um, which I could send to you. Actually, <laughs> this is sort of a, a tangent, but related. Um, so 902 Baldwin, that's the Baldwin Road farm. Yeah. Or fields, the old farm. And... I haven't heard any updates. Do you have any updates? So over here's the last what I got. Months? Yeah, uh, notable features: nine, 902 Baldwin is an 85 acre, not 70 acre, mm -hmm. with all of its roads, frontage, and access in Woodbridge. The land extends into Derby, but the view shed in is entirely from Woodbridge. It's notable for its prime farmland, scenic beauty, and historical significance. It, it, its origin dates back to 1660 when it was part of Milford Colony. The farm predates Woodbridge and Derby. The farm owners working with the Woodbridge Land Trust have entered into an agreement with the Connecticut Department of Agriculture and Land Trust to protect the land from development for perpetuity. The land will remain farmland and privately owned. I think we need to put that in here. Right. That sounds great. I can put it right in. It's it's time I'll it's timely and it's timely yeah. and relevant. But it, and, and so it goes, that means it's not available for I mean so it shouldn't even be on So it's there, protected, right? yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. It's it shouldn't the, even be in this list though. Right. I mean we could leave it in this list for twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. I think with but, the update. But, but yeah. with that update yeah. and an indicator that it, it's 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 actively yeah. being preserved or Which pursuit is still of preservation. Relevant to the document. I think so. In the whole document. Right, yeah. but it's not, it's it not, just gets in a uh, yeah. Worthy that's, of being acquired. That's all. Right. Yeah. right. I'm just trying to take things on full. <laughs> <laughs> but when you look so, down here, yeah. So anyway, getting back around to, I know I kind of took us okay. sideways a little bit on this, because I, I you know, being an engineer at heart, I like to have a measurable way, mm -hmm. a measure, a tool that we can yes. measure everything the same with. Right, okay. <clears throat> so, how about this? I keep talking about it. I'm going to hold my feet to the fire. For the next meeting, I'll run through and do an objective measure using the rating scale, not going down and doing a bigger assessment of the properties with historical research and all of that, but at least get us a first swing at all of them, lining them up. And, and see how they shake out. Because so far, I don't, I have not heard anybody on this commission say the rating system is totally unworkable. We should scrap it. So why don't I plow ahead at the end of it? If the results that come out well, that's look, great like, because look like junk, and we say it's terrible, scrap it. I won't be offended. Well, you no, know what? But I, I, I love that because I mean, you really, you're sort of the author of this. You know the properties. And, I mean, you've been the you've been the reason this has come about. And I agree with your engineering, you know, <laughs> thoughts on this. But the the next piece is when you go through them all, and then you say this is the rating, and and we all go up and go. Wait a minute, that's much more important right. than it came out. So if you want to do that. All right, let's do Thank that. You. Let's do that. And as an agenda item for next time, you'll report it. I'll report it, and everybody will be able to chime in. Okay. Um, Which one are you going to do? Property? Yeah. All of them. All of them. Oh, you're going to do all of them? That's okay. why I'm clapping. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I had a pretty good system worked out. I was. I, I had everything lined up one night, and I was able to churn through. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. I think it's that's 17 properties, though. It's a good thing I like that kind of stuff. It's a good thing you <laughs> like it. And the one you can take off because that's already done. That's right. And the last thing before we move on to the next agenda item, yes. I would like us just to reflect back upon the objectives that are listed in the open space plan. What page are we on? And that's back on page 8. Okay. And just so everyone is 
on board with the definition of an objective the versus a goal. a goal. Oh, okay. An objective is something that's measurable and achievable right. versus a goal, which is a guiding principle. So, open space objectives. The first one in here, now these are not necessarily in order of priority, they're just listed in here, uh, is to develop a property classification, rating, and identification system. So we just talked a bit briefly about the rating system. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> classification we've touched on in prior meetings, and I believe Coopop wanted to get involved in this a bit. So I think we're inching forward slowly on this particular objective. I wish I could find my notes on the last Coopop that I went to, because I do think that uh, sounds familiar. Yeah, and I've talked with Laura okay. um, a couple times about coming together with Coopop to try to move ahead with coming up with classifications. And who's Laura? She's uh, the head. Of, she's Jason, but for Coupon. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, right. She's chair of Coupon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was one objective. We're, we're inching forward. I feel on. Uh, the second one is to develop use designation of open space. This is another one where Coupon overlaps a bit, and I think we're sort of in a circling pattern right mm -hmm. now on that. Develop an open space management plan. That one I feel like we haven't really made any headway on. We've certainly seen some management plans. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, Louisa Cunningham had put together uh, organic best practices management uh, focused on the Fitzgerald tract. And we do have the old Yale study from the Alice Newton Street Park as a basis for a management plan. But I feel like that's one that we haven't made much headway on. Definitely chime in if you feel otherwise or have thoughts. I'm, I'm just wondering if we can reach out to another Yale group to have them work on a management. Get some students out here. Yeah. Because they're all, always looking for things to do case studies on. Yeah, last time it was the School of Forestry that right. worked that's on that. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, Maybe I could, I'd be willing to reach out to some of the forestry people on that if you want. Yeah. Okay. Because we've certainly lost any contact that we had had previously, not only with the students, but any faculty at Yale for such projects. Uh, let's see. Review properties worthy of acquisition. Well, we just talked about that, so clearly we're moving ahead. Another objective is Fitzgerald property protection. This is one that's been uh, in the open space plan for a long time. It was in the 2003 plan. Uh, the Fitzgerald property across the street with the cornfields is not permanently protected. And I think one of the objectives from prior commission uh, membership was to actually protect it in some way. And we certainly have not made any actions on that one. Another objective is to develop trails through existing golf courses. <laughs> we, we own oh. a course, <laughs> an old course. Um, yeah. Uh, the last ones are recreation near the town hall and rice pond. This is, this is another holdover, as is the trails through the existing golf courses from 2003. At some point, we might want to remove some of these objectives if we feel they're not... I think this one's talking about the little one, that little golf course on Racebrook Road by the Merritt Parkway, because that's what it says, you know, by the church? Oh, the... the uh, little 18 holes? Yes. That, that's what this field view, is not field I mean, I mean not, yes. this was before... Is it field view? Because this was when the country club was still... Privately driving. held. And yeah. So, yeah. Not, not the nine hole. It used to be nine hole, I guess. They made it. It's it's nine holes still. Yeah, I think. So. I think. Um, and then the recreation for t by Town Hall and Rice Pond. That's just down the hill from us here, with the uh, tennis courts, uh, baseball fields. The dog park. No dog park. Oh, no, where's the dog park? Well, the, the, there's the proposed the dog park at Fitzgerald. Oh, Fitzgerald. Yeah. Right. 
but I think at, at some point in the past there was some interest in trying to do some reclamation around Rice Pond. You wouldn't really know realize it's a pond. It's part of just the stream and river. We used to we used down. to go ice skating on that though. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. As a pond. Yeah. And it's not really a pond anymore. Well, just because it needs to be cleaned up, is that mm. why? It's really filled in over the years, as oh. wetlands tend to do. Oh, oh. You know, they slowly build up with debris and, and that, yeah. grow back. Um, and the last one is greenway extensions. <coughs> and that's what I remember from our one of my first meetings is we talked about the importance of creating the greenway through the town yep. the circumference of the is that the way? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I think the greenway extensions... To connect the greenway. I just yeah. remember that. I thought that was a really cool idea. We could walk through the whole... To loop through the town. Yeah. Awesome. I still have plans for that. Okay, good. <laughs> um, but extending the greenway through various either acquisitions or new right. trails being blazed. Um, so if there's any objectives in this list that you think might be no longer relevant or semi-relevant and should be redefined. Speak now or write down your thoughts for the next time. Okay. Um, well, uh, only one thing I think I've mentioned to you on the Greenway thing mm -hmm. is that, uh, you know, I mean, I live in there, partially there, but from the high school, somehow to connect down to Thomas Darling um, always seemed to me like, you know, up till, uh, Dylan Road. Not Dylan. I, I, it's that. <laughs> oh my God, how can I forget this? It's all downhill from yeah. the farm. Oh, oh, Clark? Um, Clark? Clark. Clark. Clark Road. Yes. But so from basically Thomas Darling up Clark Road, up through Sorensen's, up through my place to the high school, if the, somehow the trail could be connected there. It seems Where's like the Hubble's? Was that? Hubble Farm, yeah. Mm. Yeah, cut through Hubble. I think the hard part is just crossing the highway. That's a trick. That's the hardest one. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. but you do, it'll build a nice you pedestrian do know, bridge over. You do know they used to have a tunnel under there. I did not. The know Hubble that. Farm. They used to have a tunnel that went under uh, sixty three. Really. And all the dairy cattle would go under and go to all the farmland where the power lines are now. You're kidding! Yeah. I didn't know that. What? What happened? I don't know. Did, did, they, they, did, they, did, did, did the state in. say, <laughs> yeah. "No, no, you can't dig under our highway"? I don't know, but it's yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be find cool? Out what happened to that? Yeah, I'll have to do a little more. Yeah, Herb was the one that told me, but he's not around. I wonder if. Uh, I think Chris would know. Well, his dad might know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Huh. The more you know. Town history, right there. Maybe they also like. Um, it was like a, you know, an escape tunnel for sleep. Yeah, right. <laughs> Back in the day? Yeah. Something exciting. All right. Anything else on the open space plan before we move along? We each have some homework to work on? Yep. All right. I understand now the importance to revisit that. I feel better now. Good. I thought we were done. <laughs> But I see now we weren't. Uh, so the next agenda item is to talk about our trail walks in 2019. So in prior years, each member has picked a month out of the year and we've done a trail walk. And they've always been very lightly attended except for those that you have so graciously advertised for us. Well, yes. And done a great job getting okay. everybody out for it. <clears throat> um, and at the end of 2018, we thought maybe we should do fewer trail walks, but with guest speakers or a very specific focus right. to try to attract more people um, or at least those that are there and get them more engaged in some way. I'm going to bring up one example that uh, I've got for us. So every year the state does the trail day in early June. So this year it lands on the first weekend in June, which is the first and second. And <clears throat> um, Masaro Farm reached out to me saying that they'd like to do something on their trail and didn't want to compete with conservation. And I said, well, why don't we team up and make it an educational walk? And my proposal to them was to talk about Use the trail 
walk the forest and talk about food. Going back to Native Americans and how they would live off the land and what in that trail could be used in a Native American diet. Because actually and then, that one we did, even with Masara Farm last year, was the best out of Woodbridge attendance I remember. Yeah, right? it was fairly well attended. And yeah. it was only by chance they had their, um, it was part of their the other event, yeah. uh, bigger event. But this one I thought, why not, since you're at Masaro with um, fields that are, you know, currently being used for agriculture, start with the Native Americans and foraging for food and bring it back to the advent of agriculture and what we do today for food. So Love trying it. to combine a trail walk with food and nutrition education and, and trying to find some, some specialists that can talk on this. Um, for the foraging part, I still have a contact at, uh, I'm going to blank on his name now, Justin Pegnataro was the guy that ran the organization, but he moved on. Anyway, there's an organization that is, is dedicated towards teaching kids about nature and that kind of thing out in the woods. In New Haven? Yeah. I almost had the name. Give me four more minutes, it might come to mind. It's not City Seed? It's not City Seed, no. Oh. Um, but then also incorporate a staff from Masaro to talk about um, agriculture through the last, maybe, century to where we are now. Um, That'd be cool. So, Sounds cool. That, that's one angle to take sort of out of the box in terms of a trail walk. Mm -hmm. It's more of a food education walk. Not just a trail walk, but the, um, the, fourth, the idea of trying to be a little the, more broad. That's a good idea. The fourth grade at Beecher is talking about the Algonquin. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. The Algonquin Native Americans. Yeah. That were here, and they're. I don't know. I mean, they're doing that now, but for part of their curriculum. Nice. So that maybe they would be interested. You know what? Maybe. Um, Maybe we could reach out. Is that what you said? Fourth grade, so mm -hmm. Beecher. So whomever is involved with that, like on the edge, staff level, yeah. maybe they might be willing to lend some knowledge. It used to be Kevin Kaczynski's, but he's not around, is he? It's not Doctor Stebinger. No. What happened to Kevin? He, he died. Why didn't? He? Didn't he? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Well, I trust. I trust Julie. She says yes. My kids loved him. He was yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> so think about some other um, some other ways to incorporate our trails and into either a, it could be a historical walk. So I tell you, my be. favorite one is, you know, uh, flyways and aviary, you know, to get, I, I, I love when we have a mm. ornithologist in and do, and especially the, the West Rock Ridge that area there. Love to see that again. Could you or is that the one? same thing yeah. as birds and figure of out what time of year? Virginia yeah. Coley? Oh, do I remember her? She was my best friend. Because yeah. there might be a better she time of the year than another. Because the other one and, uh, that I loved was when the water company came and did hydrology, right? Yes. So the hydrology and maybe hydrology geology is the other one I'm thinking. I like that too. That sounds fascinating. I know. We're all going back <laughs> to know, school. It's, it's science. It it's fly, fascinating. What'd you call it? Flyways. flyways. <laughs> Ornithology and flyways. Okay. And then hy hydrology and geology. Okay. Uh, another thought I had is trying to um, work with the historical society and talk about the kilns and the quarry mm -hmm. on that side of town. Even though it was a completely, a completely failed business enterprise, it's part of town history, and mm -hmm. there's some interest in it. I know that the... You mean on a walk? On a walk. And I know that the Historical Society has actually started their own trail walks of mm -hmm. some kind. I don't know the details, mm -hmm. but... So why don't we decide how many we're going to do, when we're going to do them, and we could try to plug in some interesting... How's that? Is that a good idea? That sounds good. 
Well, I've definitely got June 1st, 2nd, that lined up. Okay. That's on which? The farm one? Yep, that's the... Because the only other part I think would be an interesting connection is um, have somebody touch it historically on, if you're doing the Indians and Native Americans, is how Woodbridge was really like Guilford, the breadbasket for industrial New Haven. Hmm. Love if there was somebody who could maybe... Water capital of New Haven. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, somebody from the Darling House. Probably. Yeah, that would definitely be maybe we can get Don Don Menzies to. He seems to be a good local knowledge. You know, we're getting look pretty smart is uh, Ethan Snyder, who's got the yeah. CSA down there. Yeah, he's like a, you know, a sponge. He's a, he's a character. He remembers too. everything. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't know if we can line up anything else right now, unless you've got something in mind. No, I don't. I, I, but if there's something if topic something, that you want to... Well, I mean, you know, if it's summer and then fall, like, you know, mm. change of seasons, the leaves and all that kind of stuff, and then something to fit into there, like, you know, something like that that people would be interested in. Syrup making, at, we could ask. That's coming up. That's right around the corner. Yeah, well... Oh, that's not going to happen, happen this year. My house. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, it actually yeah. should. Cause <laughs> I'm putting it in. It's a cute idea. Did he tap trees this year? There was no day. Yeah, wow. The sap's been running, but... Remember the person who came here and talked to us? To, and he, he maybe could do it. Sterling. Yeah. Sterling. Yeah. That's who that was? Mm -hmm. Okay. We could walk around Els Eldersley and see his taps. If he's tapped, I'm telling you. I, I mean... We have had a, you know. It's been a weird winter. Yeah. That's a winter thing? Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Yep, February and March. But September is. Oh, it's 8 No, wait. Okay. Oh, I guess it's more like. Do we March. have a. When's our. We, do we even have one schedule for March? Trail walk? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, we, 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 at the moment, have no trail walks okay, planned. Okay, well, we should schedule one. Well, we've got the June we one. But, no, we but, could. <laughs> <laughs> but the farm one is June when? Uh, first. No? Or second. Well, we weren't going to do I'll work with the farm and figure out what day is it. And I will not be there for it either day. So. <laughs> Conveniently um, enough. Uh, Unless but I will theme. coordinate all of it to make it happen. Uh, and if you can work on figuring out when... Ornithologists I'll, I'll try think on that West one. Rock yeah. would be best. Yep. Good. And who could work on the RWA hydrology? Who, who? Who was our contact? Was it Frank? Yeah, I bet it was. He's not here. Let's give it to Frank. Poor <laughs> <laughs> Frank. I have. So that's two separate things. The minutes are. You better have to edit these minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, separate things. There's the water, the birds, and the food. If you want to give them very the general, I have geologists. We don't have any geologists. Does anybody know a geologist? No, I do. Is that the rock people? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. rock people. Yeah, I'm sure we could find rock people. Oh, I know a bunch of rock. Yeah. people. He knows rock. Really people. knows rock oh, people. Oh crap! Okay, so I have to do that one too. Yeah, I gotta do that one too. <laughs> All right, so these are all separate. Okay, I'm gonna separate these. Yeah, the state uh, geologist is Jay Agu now, who studied under uh, Brian Skinner and okay. Catherine Skinner at Yale. All right. Like the Skinner box? I don't know. He he's they named Skinnerite after him. Skinnerite? Mm. I don't even know what that is. I know. I don't think this it's is not so a very really popular map. Okay, I just taking notes. Okay. okay. Chairman's report. I think we're we're good on trail walks. We're mm -hmm. on to chairman's yeah. report. Um, I only have two items that came to mind. One, and I had emailed everybody on the commission about is the upcoming. 35th annual uh, Connecticut Land Conservation Conference. It's the end of March. I'm in. March 23rd on a Saturday. I R S V P. You did. <laughs> uh, I think I remember some. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll send it again. I saw it. I can't go. I can't remember. Sorry. Did I write you back? Uh, anyway, no. I'll look. Yeah. But if you are able to attend, these are awesome. Um, this one is up at Wesley. Oh, I did write you back. I'm going to be away. Okay. But this one, I can't even. 
I don't There's so you... much to do. That's yes. right. You really amazing. want to go to the mall. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. It, they're, they are amazing. So I'm hoping that maybe Tracy, Karen, or Frank might be able to, uh, to make buy it up the sessions. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, the venue is amazing. Yeah. The, the conference content is amazing. It's totally worth it. Absolutely. I know it's a Saturday and it, we hate to eat up Saturdays and our busy schedules, but you learn a lot. Uh, the other other item is that at the end of March, I'm going to be meeting with Beth. She is instituting a quarterly touch base with chairs of commissions. Great. And um, what I was told to be prepared to talk about was uh, promoting trails in town, our property inventory, and then also discussing the properties worthy of acquisition and um, where we stand on other properties. Um, just for example, there was the discussion of Enoch Drive for a while, whether the town should hold it or should it let it go. And if it did let, let it go, it would obviously go to a referendum. But what should happen with funds from the town selling parcels? Uh, I'm a strong, personally, I'm a strong advocate for if you sell open space, that money should go into what's called a lockbox. Uh, <laughs> it's called a lockbox for other um, uh, open space because you, it doesn't seem worthwhile to give something up to not get something you don't in return. Sell artwork to buy farm vehicles. <laughs> right. <laughs> Unless you inherited the artwork and you hate <laughs> the art. <laughs> uh, all right. I have no other agenda items. And with that, is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All Thank right. You. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.